Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to share with you a, a method for embedding GeoGebra sketches within uh, Moodle quizzes. So to do this, it's really a two-step process. One, uh, create a sketch within GeoGebra. Uh, two, export it and then import into uh, a Moodle quiz. So to begin, you're going to go to the GeoGebra.org website and click the download button. We're going to make sure that you have GeoGebra installed on your computer. Uh, from here, we're going to pick the offline installer option. And you're going to pick, uh, click on the link that corresponds to the operating system that you use on your computer. I use a Mac, so I'm going to click on this link. Once you click on that, uh, that should download the installer on your computer. So right here is, uh, you'll notice on my desktop, I see a zip file called GeoGebra. If you click on it, it should decompress the zip file. You should have a copy of GeoGebra in your desktop. Just drag this to your applications folder. So now within the Applications folder, you should have uh, GeoGebra. Here's my version right here. For convenience sake, I'm going to drag this up here in my dock to uh, make launching the software uh, easier to do. So once you have GeoGebra installed, go ahead and click the GeoGebra icon to launch the software. First time you launch it on a Mac, it's going to say that, uh, ask if you're sure you want to open it, and I'm sure. This launches the GeoGebra software, and we're going to create a very uh, simple sketch. It's my assumption that you probably have not used GeoGebra before. So um, initially, you might see a window that looks something like this. You probably see a... Uh, an algebra view and a graphics view. The algebra view is on the left and the graphics view is on the right. Whenever I create um, an item over in the graphics view, you'll see some information about the same item in the algebra view. Here's an example. Uh, these different buttons up here, along here, provide you with different tools that you use to create objects in the graphics view. So for instance, if I want to create a new point, I click the New Point tool, and I click within the Graphics window. That will create points on my screen. Notice that point A has, has this, these coordinates. If I drag point A, notice that the coordinates change. If I type in here a particular coordinate, the, the location of the point changes within the graphics view. So the algebra view and graphics view are interlinked. I'm going to now create a triangle that connects these three points together. So I pick the polygon tool. Notice that it gives me some, uh, some hints on how to use the tool over here. So select all vertices and click the first vertex again. So I'm going to click on the vertices in order and then go back to the first one again. That creates a polygon called Poly1. These are the different sides of the triangle. Notice when I hover over them, you'll see that the shading gets darker. And as I drag points on my triangle, notice that the area of the triangle and the lengths of the sides all change. Uh, to export this triangle to um, a uh, window in, uh, in Moodle, a quiz in Moodle, uh, we want the graphics window to look exactly as we want it to look in Moodle. So I'm going to hide this algebra view. I don't really need to see it. Click on the X to close it. There's a lot of extra white space here I'm not interested in either. By clicking on this, uh, the tool here, we can turn a grid on or off. 
You can do the same thing by by picking grid here. So I kind of like having a grid, and I'd like the points to snap to the grid. So now notice when I drag the points, they snap to the grid. And um, I'm also going to right click on the points and show a label for each. It's helpful for me to include a uh, not only the labels but also the coordinates for these points. So I'm going to go to Edit Object Properties by selecting all of the points within here and showing the label with a name and value. You'll notice that now the points are labeled not only by a name but also by a coordinate. This sketch looks reasonable for me, for my purposes. So I'm going to go uh, within the GeoGebra uh, software, under File, export this as HTML. Since Moodle's HTML, uh, we're going to export this as HTML. I'm exporting uh, the sketch as a web page, and under the Advanced tab, um, I'm going to export this file to the clipboard as Moodle, Moodle code, and click clipboard. What this does, it takes the entire contents of the sketch and copies it to the clipboard on my computer. So the first part of uh, what we're doing is done.